Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a delay in your scenarios greater than what's currently offered by the sleep module. If you take a look at the sleep module, you will see that the maximum number of seconds it can be suspended is 300, which is 5 minutes. So to create a delay any longer than 5 minutes, you will need to use a data store and split your scenario into two. The first scenario stores the data in the data store and the second retrieves it after the set delay time and the scenario continues. Let me show you what I mean. Since there are various apps that can be used depending on the scenario you are building, I'll keep things simple for this demo and use the HTTP module to retrieve data and the data store add replace record. So in this module, I need to select the data store where I want to store the data. Now we need to store the record with a future date or time depending on the length of delay I want, which could be minutes, hours, days, and so on. In this example, I will add three days to the current date using the add days function. I also change the date to this format, which also removes the time outputted by the now variable. It's important to note that for the date to display correctly in this format in the data store, this field will need to be a text field and not a date field in the data structure. So let's run the scenario. Okay, so here's the record in the data store. Today's date is the 11th of June 2020, and here you see that the record's date is the 14th of June 2020. Now let's open the second scenario. Here I want to search for any records that contain the current date. So when this scenario runs on the 14th of June, the record that was just stored would be retrieved and emailed. Here is the data store search record module. I need to select the same data store. In the filter, I'll select the field that contains the date of the record and the equal to text operator since it's a text field. Again, I need to format the date so that it matches the format of the stored records. So let's see what happens when I run the scenario. Here you can see that no record was retrieved that contains today's date, which is correct since the only record in the data store contains a future date. So let's pretend that three days have passed and it's now the 14th of June. So I just need to use the function in the first scenario to get the same date. Now I'll run the scenario again. Since the dates now match, the record was retrieved and an email was sent. And that's how it's done. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and happy automating. Now I need to store the record with a future date or time depending on the length of delay I want. In this example, it will add three days to the current date using the add days function. 